say actions speak louder than words. But as the first member of the newly elected Israeli government on the scene of Wednesday's terror attack, Itamar Ben-Gvir was using both. I will not speak about politics, but I will say one thing. We need to form a government as quickly as possible. The terror will not wait. And it's become a call echoed among other members of the incoming coalition as well. The murderous Arab terror is knocking on our door. We must establish a national government immediately. I call on Prime Minister-designate Netanyahu to convene the leaders of the factions in order to reach agreements and form a right-wing government that will make a real change and restore security to the citizens of Israel. The enemies of Israel are hitting us because they recognize a weakness. Another murderous attack. Civilians are killed and injured. The people of Israel expect us to restore peace to the streets, and all arguments about one case or another are a mistake that we will pay for. Enough. The country is on fire. Since winning the November 1st election, cabinet negotiations have stalled. Prime Minister-designate Benjamin Netanyahu and his coalition partners have been haggling over ministerial portfolios, personal demands and major party disagreements. It's likely, though, given the twin attacks in Jerusalem and the rise of terror in the West Bank, the events will propel the coalition talks. Especially as the majority of new right-wing members are in agreement that a strong and coordinated retaliation to this attack is needed. But in order to respond and make policy changes, they first need a government. I can say and I think I express the feelings of many who, first of all, want to pray for the full recovery of all the injured and their also anxiety victims. I am convinced that the road will be successful and that they will make a full recovery. We still have, of course, a fight against brutal terrorism that raises its head again. And we will do everything to restore security to all Israeli citizens soon. And from the outlook of Wednesday's attacks, sooner rather than later should be their aim.